Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. I am Wahid Ali and today we will design a rain grid irrigation system for one acre field. So, um, my uh, the uh, dimension of this field are 189 feet by 189 feet and it is the same size of field that we have designed last time for an orchard and we put there a drip irrigation system. So, today we are going for the uh, rain grid system. Uh, I already designed a sprinkler system for 10 canal area which is a bit more than uh, one acre, but we will design the same uh, strength system for this uh, block also, and we will compare all these three uh, uh, and their costing, inshallah. So first of all, uh, I have to select uh, the rain gun before you go for design. So last time I visited my market and I found a 163 rain gun. This is Comat series. This is a very fine and a very durable uh, rain gun. If you got this that one from market, you are lucky. So this is 163, it's scored, and uh, its throw is its average throw is about 60 feet at 45 psi. You can go more than that. I think 75 feet. You can go up to 75 feet, but the pressure requirement is more than uh, I think it's 55 or 58 psi. Uh, when you go for 74, 75 feet. So I selected this rain gun at 60 feet uh, radius and <coughs> uh, and <coughs> uh, 45 psi pressure. So first of all, you have to define your uh, sprinkler or rain gun positions that where you will place it and how you will cover the field. So. You should go for a donut. Uh, let me turn on the <coughs> irrigation sprinkler and I will keep a donut. Two feet internal dia, four feet external dia. And uh, let's suppose this is my first placement. So I will go for a circle and a circle. And 60 feet is radius, so there is a 60 feet. I will take it to its layer. Now uh, I will select that one and I will copy that command and I will place it where I want. So here, first I will cover the corners, then I will go for sides, centers and uh, then I have this much area left so I will my one placement will be somewhere here and the other placement will be somewhere here so now you can see that every area is almost covered so now you have to put your hydrant so there is one thing let me show you that how I am doing it. This is your uh, circle up cover, right? And you have a hundred feet pipe also. Right? Like this. So it means that you have to draw a circle from this point to that point, right? And if you want to see that how I'm doing it, so you just rotate and now you can see, look, your, your rain gun can rotate in this circle from your hydrant. This, this was your hydrant, the center point, and you can place your rain gun anywhere and it will cover everything inside that circle, right? So I will copy that. Okay, uh, first of all, I have to pick my hydrant. So I pick that one. And I will go to its center. 
right there you go so now i have to place that hydrant in such a location that it can cover maximum of its hydrants so if you go in the center of the plot then you can only one hydrant is enough for that area but the problem is that we normally don't do that we go to the sides you can't go and fix your hydrant in the center see right so when you go to the side if you place it here then you will need one hair and then you will need one hair so three hydrants will be required so go to economical one so i will go to this position and i will go to now you can see it's cover most of the hydrants and then i will go to go put one hair right so these two hydrants two hydrants covered every possible location of rain gun okay so uh, now uh, i will let me take it to the circle and uh, we will take it blue so now the circle command is done everything is ready now so you we will turn off the uh, circle layer and now you have to uh, design its pipeline so there are two ways to design it one is uh, you just drag a straight line right and connect that pipeline to your water source wherever it, wherever it is right if you have a water source uh, let's suppose here let me ortho it okay if your water source is there every where it is um, it doesn't matter um, but uh, it should be near to your power source so if i have a water source here then there you go you will connect that to your pumping unit and that's done but normally we don't go for this type of design we go with the loop system in uh, in rain gun system so that the pressure remains uh, equal in at all points and uh, there is no breakage and there is no other uh, problems so we don't go for this one although it's very economical but we don't go for that it's not technically right so you have to sell you have to uh, take your pipe along your boundary so um, i select the boundary line and i'm going for offset command and i will offset it by 3 feet and i am going 3 feet inside then i will match property command and uh, this is uh, the notation i selected for my uh, pipe so i will go and click on it and that's done you can see now a pipeline is going all the way around and uh, you have to sell you have to uh, connect that to the pipeline also right so that's done um i think i did the all job in my so there you go right everything is ready everything is done everything is fine so now which size a pump do you need so i'm going to i'm going to design a pump now for this design and uh, according to catalog of the train gun it will draw ab about 60 gallons per minute water and uh, <clears throat> 60 gallon per minute water at 60 psi at 45 psi so let me okay okay here it is there we go let's suppose we are designing for the rain gun so my what is the length of this pipe it's 732 feet so from here to there how much it is it is almost half so i'm going to set 732 by 2 and uh, i don't have other pipes so leave it 
nozzle pressure is about 45 we say and uh, elevation depth water source let's suppose I am drawing water from a bore so I have a depth of water table about uh, 40 feet so let's suppose 45 feet I and these are line losses and everything and I have now a rain gun here that is one and it is drawing water 60 gallon per minute so according to this solution I have to select a pump about 3.5 uh, horsepower but when you go to the market you will ask for uh, a pump which can withdraw water at 60 gallon per minute at 163 feet head right this is not shut off head right and this is not uh, zero head water so 60 gallon you required at 163 feet uh, uh, pressure so they will give you a reasonable pump but according to my experience you will get about uh, 5.5 horsepower so almost here and this is everything done and this is not I have to change it 60 GPM right and uh, you don't need the penetration unit here so I will delete that one okay so everything is fine and uh, you have learned a lot about the Rengen system and my next vlog we will go for the BQ and costing of it inshallah so thank you for listening and watching please uh, like our video and subscribe the channel thank you Allah Hafiz